So, it's that time of year again. The whole world seems to be so wrapped up, pun fully intended, in what to buy for their friends and family members. And hey, maybe you've stumbled across this video because you're looking for a gift to buy a friend for their birthday. Great! Thing is, whatever the occasion might be, and however relevant it might feel, what if you didn't buy anything, and instead put in the time to make a meaningful gift. Today's video is a presentation of my thoughts on gift giving in general and what gives something meaning. I'm a pretty frugal person myself and I've been really working to embody various stoic ideas. A famous quote by the philosopher Seneca goes, true happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future, not to amuse ourselves with either hopes or fears, but to rest satisfied with what we have, which is sufficient, for he that is so wants nothing. The greatest blessings of mankind are within us and within our reach. A wise man is content with his lot, whatever it may be without wishing for what he has not. Focusing in on that last part, I have been working a lot on being content with what I have and not concerned with what I don't. While I'm fortunate to be in a position to say this, it is from this perspective that I present my ideas in this video. So perhaps take all of this with a grain of salt. The only things that I do want for the holidays are the things that I could never guess. A few weeks ago, my sister texted me and asked me what I wanted for Christmas. I told her that I really had no idea and that I didn't want anything. I believe it was a week or so later that my controller ran out of batteries and since I had just given some to my mom and didn't have any on hand, I texted my sister that I wanted batteries for Christmas. She said lol or something, but if she got me a big box of AA batteries, then when my controller next dies, that gift of batteries is going to be of epic proportions. Why the heck am I talking about batteries? Well, it's this principle of asking someone what they want that bugs me. Surely when my sister asked me this, it came from a place of good intentions and it's not like I hold any grudges. However, I'd rather be surprised with what I receive regardless of monetary value. And it is that idea right there that this video is derived from. If my sister sends me a card, I'd be happy. I get to see my sister and talk to her quite a bit. I'm lucky and I'm grateful for that. I don't need something plucked off of a wish list. So how does this anecdote help you give meaningful gifts? I'll give you another story as a hint for what I'm getting at, because if you can come to this conclusion on your own, you'll understand it that much more. Back on my birthday, my sister said she got me something and that it was being shipped to my house. Much to my surprise, it was a brand new backpack, one of those specifically tech people ones. The backpack I was using at the time was very worn down. While I still had it, I was considering buying a new one soon because of the new semester coming up. I'm quite frugal though, so I never went through with it because despite the backpack being worn down, it still functioned after five years of use and I was happy with that. The fact that I'm not on campus aside, my sister got me something that meant a lot to me. She knows me well enough that it was something I needed, I just didn't admit it. So what's meaningful about these scenarios? The things that we need are great, but things that carry meaning are even greater. Even better than the gifts themselves, the intention with which the gifts are given. I do this thing elsewhere on this website where I play some random video game and just talk aloud to myself and record my thoughts on a given topic each week. In preparation for this video, which I hoped would be more structured but is still more just a rant and some storytelling, I said something that made me really think. And that a friend comes up to me and says, hey, what do you want for Christmas? What are you gonna ask them? Because I think gifts, gifts are given more meaning when they are chosen by the person who is giving. Not sure if that hits you like it hit me, but as soon as I said it, I realized it packed a punch. If you're having trouble identifying what someone might need, let's go ahead and take a look at one of the most powerful feelings that we, as human beings, can harness. If you can give someone the gift of nostalgia in these upcoming holidays, or for their birthday, or Valentine's Day, or whatever it may be, you can create something incredibly powerful. Empowering gifts and filling them with nostalgia is one of the most powerful intangibilities that we can contain within a tangible gift. If you feel as though you know someone well enough, I'm sure you can think of the perfect thing or idea to gift them. Perhaps a book they expressed interest in. Perhaps they were working on a hobby and you could support them financially that way. There are many ways to do this and I leave that up to you to find for yourself. If you don't think you know someone well enough, an idea that came up in a small conversation with some friends on Discord is that actual items should be limited for the people you know well enough. Nothing like a gift that has a negative impact and makes both sides awkward just because money felt impersonal. Speaking of money, my views on money are a bit weird. So without going into that, I'll cut straight to the point and say that you shouldn't hesitate to give people money as a gift. All you have to do is give it reason and meaning. 
For some reason, giving someone money, at least in the towns in which I grew up, seems devoid of meaning. I'd argue that gift cards carry even less meaning, but I'll step around that rant to get straight to my point here about money. $10 to one person can mean something entirely different than $10 to another person. Now, the thing is, I've said all these things about nostalgia and intangibility, and doesn't money just invalidate all of that? Not if you do it right. And doing it right involves one thing, giving it meaning. If someone needs financial support, giving them money can be one of the best things ever. On the note of giving someone something they need, something small that's financially supportive can mean the world to someone. You might not always be able to see it, but just a small amount of cash can go a lot further than some aesthetically cool object. Now, regardless of reason, I think that if you handed someone $20 without any other context, it can be really questionable. My rule of thumb in the few occasions that I've done this is to simply give the money meaning. A simple example would be, hey man, I know you wanted this game on Steam, but I didn't want to buy it for you in case someone else got you a Steam card or something and thus you already had it. Now, why do I think this is suddenly better? Because the meaning behind it is the intention with which I am giving it. The little card just said, hey man, here's money for this thing I know you wanted, but if there's something that you wanted more, you can go ahead and spend it on that. Obviously, it doesn't say that directly, but it shows them that you had something in mind you would want to buy them, but also there's something you may not have been aware of. You're not just saying, hey man, your friendship is worth 20 bucks to me. Now, there's a lot of gray area on that one point. So if you disagree, if you do agree, if you know one of the many things that I'm just totally glossing over with that right now, I'd be super curious to hear your thoughts in the comments below, because I think there's a lot to that point, but for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna keep it at that. So what's the main takeaway? If you know someone really well, the gifts between you should not be reliant on their monetary value. If you don't really know someone and need to ask them what they want, I suppose you could do that, but also you could give them some money and write down a card to show that you have good intentions. Hey man, we haven't talked for ages. I don't know if you're still into this book series, but here's some money if you are. And if you aren't, I'd be happy to see you put it towards something you want to pursue. Just plain old money can feel really meaningless. What I'm trying to say here is that if I give someone a book that I got them for $20, it would be just as valid to say, hey man, here's $20. I wanted to buy you this book, but was afraid you might already have it. That's my argument and feel free to disagree with me because I'd love to hear your thoughts. And again, this might just be me. If you are someone who does not have the flexibility to spend $30 on a game when it comes out, then getting that game from a friend could mean the world to you. It's purely subjective and I feel like I can't say that enough. I recognize the fortunate position I'm in to say that a card means more to me than some $60 game for the Nintendo Switch. That's just how I've wired myself. All in all, when people ask me what I want, it's an incredibly hard question to answer. The things I want in life right now have no monetary value. After thinking about the items that would go on my wish list, they are all things I simply don't need and thus don't desire. I was on a call with someone the other night, and I'm paraphrasing because I can't quote it exactly from memory. On the note of this obligation behind Christmas and birthday gifts, she mentioned that the holidays are a time of year where people are thankful and appreciative, so it makes sense to use that time to be thoughtful of people and express reflecting that gratitude for them. Just don't let it be the lone time of the year when you could get gifts. If you see something that makes you think of someone when you're in a store, I would get it for them. I just don't really need anything and I'm frugal enough that I have the money to buy myself lunch every day, get myself a new book or a new video game when it comes out that I really want to play. That being said, the gifts that mean most to me are those which I cannot buy. Those that take me by surprise because it shows me, oh my god, this person knows who I am. Whether that be a mug with a ferret on it, or a book with custom drawn pictures from an Owl City song, or something so simple as a card, things that I would never have guessed I wanted, are given meaning because of who is giving them to me. So, with the holidays and such coming up, ask yourself what someone would want before asking them what they want. You, as the gift giver, are the sole reason that the gifts that you give have any meaning at all. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Make sure to give some meaningful gifts this year. One you could give me right now is hitting subscribe down below and dropping a comment. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the things I've said in this video. Make sure that you spend time with people you're thankful for, people you love, people you cherish, and of course, stay safe out there.